Right, what is going on guys? Imagine an Android device with 8GB of RAM, an SSD, plus almost a terabyte of storage, big, big, hefty processor with lots of graphics and power. Well actually, it's a lot easier to get than you think. Right here, I have Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean installed on my HP laptop. So thanks to the guys at AndroidX86.com, you can get loads of different copies of Android to work on x86 processors or devices like my laptop and it's a lot easier to install than you'd think. Now my laptop specifically it's quite hard to get it to work. I use this program called Grub Loader which lets you boot Windows or the Android operating system. Now because of my graphics card it didn't let me use the Grub thing so I had to be able to run it after reinstall it then it realizes I've already got it and then lets me start up the application but as you can see it works really really well and it's great fun to play around with. So all you've got to do is go to the androidx86project.com and then you go and download the um, system you want. For me it's an Android 4.2 Jelly Bean and that's the latest one at the moment. Um, make it a live USB stick and uh, restart, boot from it and then you'll be able to install or even just try it out. And if you're wondering about compatibility, it's actually surprisingly good. You can use a lot of the apps. Some of them, if they don't work, they just kind of close and that's it. And it's because they work on ARM processors, not the um, Intel or AMD platforms. But it's really good fun just to have a go and play around. Okay, so if you actually want to install it, um, don't use this as a tutorial because it won't be as good as someone else's. Um, you just use the USB stick, boot from it, and then you can either just try it out using the um, the Grub loader, or you can go and install it. Um, I've actually got it on my SSD, but because of the card settings, I have to um, go reinstall it. Um, it won't let me because it's found the actual file it used, and then I can just skip through the process and then start up. And I reckon it's it'll be a lot faster if you um, have it like working properly but it takes me about a minute no two minutes and 10 seconds in, in total to be able to turn it on using this usb stick and after that i can take the stick out and it works um perfectly and I've, all the settings is how i left it before so go ahead why not make your own android book thanks for watching like comment subscribe see ya